Letter from Invictus Games to Netflix asking them to stop showing a movie featuring Megan that illegally used military material. Six months from now, in the summer of 2023, the Netflix documentary Heart of Invictus will no longer show about the Dusseldorf Invictus Games, which Harry and Meghan had already begun to publicize before Queen Elizabeth II passed away in September. According to what we've heard, Harry is still most likely the patron I'm giving to Germany, the rest of the Invictus organizers, and the benefits of the doubt for September. After the September games, Invictus will tell Harry to fuck off, so replacing Harry now would be too impossible logistically. Oh my god. He betrays Invictus and also the military in every way imaginable. Is Harry the representation they desire in addition to everyone else? Harry should no longer be representing Invictus because of the numerous times he has been betrayed and other factors. Thereafter, he speaks for the British royal family. Gross and disgusting, the military is treated so unfairly. Athletic veterans and legitimate donations were raised. As far as I can determine, Afghanistan is no longer on the Invictus site. They might be able to pull it off, but they'd have to dismiss Harold first to establish their integrity as a respectable company. That wouldn't be the first time in his career, as they recounted in his book, if he chose to act in a different way, and at the expense of his fellow troops. They must terminate him, and, to be honest, they may not even have the authority of celebrities who value troops. Several people have come together to support this noble cause. Just one guy has the authority to declare this to be a noble cause for veterans, and one deserving of support. The streaming service announced a number of sports-related programs on Twitter in a thread. One of those programs was a new series from Archwell Productions that follows a group of extraordinary competitors from all over the world. These competitors are all service members who have overcome life-altering illnesses or injuries in order to compete at the Invictus Games. The 2020 Invictus Games in The Hague, the Netherlands, were postponed until April 2022 because to the COVID-19 epidemic and the text that followed a picture of the Duke of Sussex shaking hands with an athlete stated that spectators will now be able to see athletes. At the Invictus Games in the spring, Meghan and Prince Harry were observed being followed by cameras. Also, it is in front of a competition for military members and veterans traveling to Dusseldorf, Germany in September 2023. The event will be held for the sixth time in 2023, following editions in London in 2014, Orlando in 2016, Toronto in 2017, Sydney in 2018, and The Hague in 2022. The Invictus Games will be held in Canada's Vancouver and Whistler in 2025, making a comeback to North America. The Invictus Games Foundation announced in April 2021 that Archwell Productions was producing a Netflix docuseries on the historic tournament. It was revealed that Oscar-winning British filmmaker Orlando Von Enzo and producer Joanna Nastagara will be in charge. Henry exclusively shared how the Invictus Games have inspired him since he initially founded them as a way of bringing together injured warriors in a spirit of friendly competition when speaking to people at The Hague in April 2022 there is a tournament for adapted sports. The poem I am by William Ernest Henley, which contains the lines I am the master of my fate, is the source of the organization's slogan. I am in charge of my own soul. The poem serves as a helpful reminder to Harry that you have the ability to take charge of your life. He informs